Good day, bonus brethren. I'm on Silent and we're on the air with more Toka 2 Touring Cars. It's a bonus episode of Toka 2. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we, uh, well, we finished up the support car championships. It, it wasn't too good. No. Not our worst total, but damned close. So this time out, we've unlocked four bonus tracks here on, let's uh, change this weather to, can we change this to random? Eh, default. And can I be changeable? Default, yeah. So we'll find out what default weather is for all the bonus tracks. So we've unlocked four bonus tracks along the way. Now we're gonna tackle them in single race. This one's gonna be a three lapper at the first one. So um, let's take out the, I'm saving the Fiesta for the, the long test track. Let's take out... What do I like? I liked the list storm. We'll put it in. Put it in the greenish, the gray-green. I think, yeah, downtown USA. That's the first one. So. I've done a lap at Lackeranoch. I don't remember that, but hey, whatever. I know I've done a test track there, because that's how I found out as spinny as I'll get out. Anyway, let's have a go here at downtown USA. It's a party in the USA. Oh, standard difficulty, of course. All right, so sunny, sunny America, downtown USA. But what downtown is it? It looked like sort of a ruralish. I don't say rural, ruralish, small town USA. Looks from the uh, ninety degree corner. Okay, not that small. No signs, so we're just... Oh, we're going through a tunnel. Hard to see that apex. Here we go, over the hill. Another nine... Why is this so wide? Like, it's, it is so wide. It's amazing. But so many 90 degree, like sharp 90 degree square corners, right? But it's also hard to see, because of that, it's also hard to see, like, just no curbs, no nothing. It's hard to see where the next turn is coming up, so. Oh my god, we've got ourselves a nice turn there. This is what, or more what I was expecting. Where, where are we going here? Oh, it just kind of narrowed itself up. Oh, this is going to be a... It was going to be a left, and this is going to be a left as well. Oops, that was gravel. This looks like it's a right. And come back to the left. And... There's the line. I was going to say, there's a line around here somewhere, I think. Okay, third isn't too bad. For not knowing where I'm going. Still don't know where I'm going, but at least I know I can hustle the car a little more. We've got other cars to reference off of too. And on down the list. Which will be three laps in the list of storms. Now, I know how to start in one of these, so. Just ever so slightly lean on that. And hit the throttle, and away you go. Now, underneath the, uh, underneath there, missed that turn, because I forgot the turn is literally right out of the pedestrian mall. A little break to get through there. I think we're coming back to the left, so everybody's kind of fading to the right. We're gonna take that wide. Now we get into the rhythm section of 90 degree lefts and 90 degree left, or in rights and 90 degree lefts. And we charge up the hill. Now this was what the, yeah, this was the long left. Which wouldn't be that long on other tracks, but it is here because everything else is just a 90 degree turn. And I hope you aren't trying to go too wide through there. Now this was... Okay, this must be a left. Whoa, okay. 
Wow, we hit the curb and it spit us out. Caught the gravel and it's kind of pivoted us around on that. There's a right, come back to the... Oh, we tried the cross under, it didn't work so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop the curb there. <laughs> Got a little puntage there for my trouble. Well earned puntage, mind, but. I swear he was skidding a little bit through there. I think I've got a little bit of front end damage, which is going to hurt the arrow. You can take it a little deeper there. Another 90 left. And then switch it back to the right. And then back to the left. It's a good thing this thing doesn't have any corner cutting uh, question ability on it. There's uh, a bit of corner cutting happening there. But if this was real racing, if they could get away with it, they would get away with it there. This race drivers do, they just find every edge they possibly can and then some. I'll cut back to the left here. Now, this one's the gravel one, so. Just kiss it, and then back to the right. Because you always go right, and then back to the left, and I think that's across the line. Yeah, because there's the grid. I feel like the small section actually slows you down, and you can't actually turn until you get off of that. I don't know what, what they went for, for what they say that is, in terms of, like, what the ground is there. Is it like, um the Top Gear shopping mall adventure. Where it's like... It's... All this tile, so you can't get any grip on it. In a high-powered car. But if we took the Ford Fiesta in there, we'd be fine. After all, Ford Fiestas are well-suited for being chased through a shopping mall by baddies in a Corvette. Blister Storm's not too far off a Corvette, so it might work. I'm talking in raw pace. It's obviously not a, it's not a Corvette. It's got a Jag engine after all. Back into downtown. Whoa, okay. Save that. Barely. Don't know what we hit that sent us pack in there, but coming back into uh, downtown. Then one more time. This is like this is a proper old timey circuit, right? street circuit that starts in town, goes out into the country, and then kind of ends back in a town. Ah, we're good. We don't need to view the replay. Big win there. In downtown USA. Well, thanks. Now we can play this on the, the expert difficulty. I didn't realize we couldn't before because it started me on the expert difficulty. So... On to the next one. Uh, let's see. What car do we want to take out next? We will take out... Oh, no, not color. Uh, select car. Lock Ranok. I'll take out the, the touring car for this one. Uh, since I was a Audi driver before, why don't we try something else here? Volvo? Volvo? I think so. Card Rydell won the championship in real life in this. Almost won the championship in the game in this. Oh, wait, there was a select color too, isn't there? And I changed livery. Yeah, so there's four. So you've got the blank one, which I think you can DIY. There's two liveries, but I can't tell the difference. It's like the wheels, that's the difference. Keep flipping back and forth between the base and this one. I can't see a difference. It's a tank livery, though. Yeah, do the tank livery. What the hell? I just did downtown USA. Let's do Loch Ranoch. Two and a half miles. It's an interesting little track, this. Yeah, I've done it once, so apparently. I don't remember much of it, except I think there's a place where you spin. So let's go. That sounds like a touring car. We're in the, um... Tony Stewart, Clint Boyer, Casey Kerwin, number 14. 
as we charge up the hill here at Loch Ranoch. Down the hill. Just hold it flat. Maybe you want to change the gearing on this one. And the downforce, because there's a lot of flat here. Now here's the tricky section. There's actually alternate routes. You could have just gone straight off to the side there. Or you could break it down. For this, for this, uh, the, I guess, whoa! I remember that now. Never mind. Yeah, all these... Yeah, this thing does not handle changes of elevation and banking particularly well. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> so maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll turn on the, uh, down for, or turn down a tick. <laughs> we need jump cam back from, uh, from Need for Speed Underground 2. Pirouette it there. Here's the interior cam, cockpit cam, nose cam, the outside cam, the other outside cam, back to the roof cam. So we've spun it twice. Don't think that, uh, don't think expert was such a good idea here. But there's a nice thing, is because it's not part of a championship, I could just rest restart and just do it from the start of the race or whatever. Let's see how bad this went and then we'll work from, the yeah, this went. Horribly. Oh yeah, we're stone dead. Let's uh, hang on. Let's let's change the difficulty to uh, we'll change the difficulty to to standard and just stick it there for the rest of the champion for the rest of the video. We'll switch it to standard and then we'll come right back. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do the uh, the standard stuff for the setup. We're gonna. One, two, one, two. And General will take the downforce down a tick. And we're just going to start shotgun. Because that's where I qualified. So just fair is fair. We're going to start shotgun. Oh, look. Ricard's got the the uh, tank camo. Yeah, I'm not going to get a good start. Just because I'm starting on an uphill. And not everyone else has to deal with that. All right, Hoy. We're gonna... Okay, we're not gonna tandem. Whatever. Should I take the cut out here and just... See what happens? Alright, we're past the Fords. Whoa. Past Bintcliff. Who I was substituting for in our Let's Play series. Past Yvonne and the other Audi. Oops. That was a little aggressive there. I forgot there was that turn there. But hey, we're up from 10th to, or tw uh, 16th to 6th. Make the charge up the hill. Whoa, oh Christ. <laughs> Sorry, Plato, that was intentional. Well, he doesn't care. Ow. That was Ricard. All right, we're gonna go to external cam so we have some, so we could see jump cam. Yep, that was definitely jump. We could see everyone else getting some areas. That's some old school shit. They wouldn't let anybody do that now. Don't mind me. I'm just wrecking my car. <laughs> everyone slowly accelerates up the hill. Oh, I don't have a windshield anymore. It might create a little drag. Oh. Oh, Christ. They're all piling <laughs> up into the... <laughs> What the hell? That was interesting. Everybody just piling into there and just crashing their way through that. All right, we have to catch up to Thompson here. There's the thing when you got three difficulties, it's like, well, here's one difficulty, it's too hard. You've got another difficulty, it's too easy. Woo, 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 got it, got it, don't. Saved it. Ish. Just get out of the way of everyone for a minute. Then we'll uh, come back around. We're still on the second lap. Oh no, we are on the second lap. Because there's no starting grid or anything like denoted, right? So it's hard to see. It's kind of hard to 
figure out where the hell you are and what the hell to do. Oh. <laughs> Crash into the Peugeot. It's going to go slow regardless, so who cares? All right, and we're last again. Well, that was the thing that happened. <laughs> At least this is a fun track, and all this n stuff is so nuts that it's just like, yep, I could live with this. If this was part of a championship, it'd be like, okay, I have concerns. Woo! I'll just stack them up. Maybe the next time I should just try and take that straight. Or no, maybe I should take the cut out there. Oh my... <laughs> Pile up. It's the big one! What the hell? <laughs> Around Cox. The number 50 Honda. Now you gotta catch up to Yvonne. As you do. Here we are, final lap. Through a sign, as you do. Nope, too soon for the braking. Never too soon for the braking. Because here's where you need to brake. Take up the left side of Warwick. In the Vauxhall, we're gonna get by. Round Harvey. There we go. Ooh. Is this where I want to skip or no? It's the next skip that I want. Since we're up to sixth. Survival skipping. Not as exciting as light speed skipping, but whatever. You want to find the next cutout here. Here. Get. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh no, there's a uh, there's a Nissan in the wall. So so if you want to survive that turn, what you need to do is just YOLO. I never use YOLO, but that was I think that was an appropriate either that or yeet. Yeet yourself through the turn. I know, technically, technically, I'm a millennial, but realistically, not a very good one. Second place, I'll take that. So a win and a second through two races. <laughs> Chaos and disarray. Oh, look at how far back Radisich is. I think it's time to bring it back one last time, perhaps. Uh, I guess we do have more bonus episodes if I unlock the other the other races, so. There's gotta be a cheat code for that, right? Okay, so. Single race. Three laps, okay. Uh, let's see, we're going to take it. Where are we going next? Loch Rannoch and Castle Bavaria. I should have taken out the Audi here. Go back a second. I would have worked there in Bavaria. There's no BMWs to take for a spin here either. Uh, let's see, what do we have any German vehicles here? Van Diemen sounds German. Mr. Storm, AC Superblower, TVR, dry. Now I'll do another run in the TVR, so. Uh, select car color. This is just bonus race. Let's take the TVR around Bavaria in the uh, kind of British racing green, sort of, sort of the Aston BRG. So, I don't know what we're getting into Bavaria, but just over two miles, it'll be sunny. And Will and the Volvo was the fastest here at 113, so we got a ballpark of where we're going to be, but TVR would be faster, so it'd probably be under 110. All right, so I have no idea what we're getting into, so I don't know if we're going to make any setup changes. We're just going to have a go. Ah, uh, yes, the pink and purple racing suit, but a white helmet. So let's see what we get ourselves into. Um, chaos, a disarray again. 
around around the fountain. So it's so this is where uh, Herman Tilke got his inspiration for is it uh, Vietnam? Imagine that Herman Tilke is like I'm designing a racing circuit. Let's go play a 20 year old Codemasters game to figure out. Oh, we're going this way. Going to the right. Ah, no, he couldn't have gotten that much inspiration because there's elevation changes. Maybe this is why Herman Tilke hates elevation changes in his courses. is because he kept spinning in Toka 2. I was going to say a bit of Super Dave Surprise Hill there because you can't see what's over that hill. That long, long, long left and where it looks like we're coming back for a long, long, long right. And I would hazard this has to be across the line there. Yeah. So how was that? Oh, that is Paul. Not too bad. Our buddy Star Race uh, back and forth, unfortunately. Eichmann, I think Eichmann who ended up second in the championship. So, and onwards and downwards, Stig in sixth. Just doesn't like the TBR. Now, we know we're good at starting in the TBR, so we're going to get a good start in the TBR. I got a little anxious and started slowly squeezing down the throttle there. So that one might... So I'm surprised it was as good as that. Oh, there are... I was going to say there are some half-hearted uh, markers for the... Uh... Woo, he got out of there good. Whoever purple is, usually Star Race. We got into there. No, it's Ricard. We got Eichmann behind. Break at the bottom of the hill. Ooh, that was all sorts of ugly. That turn had some bowling shoe tendencies. I'm pretty sure we can hold it flat there. We'll come back to the right. And S is back to the left. Over the Super Dave Surprise left. Man, these obscure Super Dave references that I'm the only one that gets, but that's half the fun. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I'm going to break here out at the turn marker. I was going to say, it sounded like I was getting... I was getting somebody right up my uh, gearbox, but I guess probably not because everybody has to go in the same area, so they just have to... So the sound effects do uh, kind of uh, indicate that everybody is kind of in a close area because you're just kind of funneled around the statue there. Might have gone a little wide there. It's basically flat from here on out, maybe a little breathe at the throttle. Here, unt there. We're in Bavaria, so I have to say unt. Just a little slippy there as we go across the crossroads. Not quite train tracks like San Jose or Baltimore. What is it with Champ Car and IndyCar doing street races over train tracks? I mean, it was still less jumpy than any train tracks in, in my town, but hey... Oh, there they are, coming back that way. That's cool. That was one of the things, I think I mentioned it in one of the touring car races at Brands Hatch, but that was one of the nice things I liked about Brands, is that you could see the other cars running around at various parts of the track. Like, if you're at the bottom of the, uh, at the bottom of the hill, you could look back, and you're coming, and you're looking back towards where the, um, pit straight is. You could see that the guys were... were going along the pit straight just if you're in the right spot and they were in the right spot. Nice little touch. So it's not like they disappear when they're off your screen. I mean, I suppose they could still could, but... For the hard time I've been giving Cody's lately, at least, you know, it's like... 
At least they seem to be like consistently... Consistently simulated, whether you can see them or not. Because there have been other games where where they, they just like, if you can't see them, it's just like, who the hell knows what's happening with them. So, a healthy victory there. Very tight for that second spot. Should have watched the replay. And onwards down the orders. Everyone stayed pretty close. I think it was 12 to 18 seconds there. So, everyone within six seconds there. All right. One last go. Um, uh, you know what? One last go. We'll make it five. Storm changeable. Yes. Let's just go crazy for this last one. We'll take the... We're going to take the Fiesta out. We're going to run it in purple like that. And we're going to do the... We don't have four, five, six, or seven. But we do have number eight, which is the test track. Long test track. So there's the... I don't have the mouse here, but sort of in the top... Yeah, I was going to say sort of the top right underneath that A there for test track. You can see that sort of wide... Uh, I was going to say it's a... A counterclockwise circuit, so it's a, it's a left-hander. But they've got that long left-hander, which is actually a banked left-hander. That's where you're going to likely lose it. The starting, uh... I was going to say, where's the start on this one? I want to say it is just after sort of that, uh, chicane at the bottom if you follow under that A. Just after that, I think. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. Stormy, so I, what actually we might want to do is... Eh, just one tick's fine. Obviously, no downforce to change and Wet, wet weather tires, of course. I don't think there's pits here. Uphill, now, I know... This is Super Dave Surprise Hill, because you can't see what's over that hill. Hit the brakes. Come through this hairpin and spit you back out to here. This is deadly in any fast car. Which is why I went the slower Ford Fiesta for this one. I think it's left or it's right? It's right. And it comes back to the left and it's basically... I was going to say, other than a hairpin, it's... Ooh, that was a little sketchy. Okay, maybe a break there as opposed to just breathe the throttle. But hey, we're across the line in a 102-ish. Not too bad in the rain. There you go. Ahead of Moretti and Hello Newman. Who, as of recording, is back for more uh, NASCAR action. In number six. Uh, Wyndham Rewards Ford and a few other things, right? No watermelons, though. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We could probably maybe... One tick there. Just a little more speed. Like the variety car numbers too. Just slowly wind it up. Not a good start. Not a bad start. It's just the start. We're gonna take the long way around Super Dave Surprise Hill. Be fourth. Oh, everyone's breaking here. So, oops. Oh, well, that's gonna hurt the ass end of his car. That, it's more I want to see. Look at my car bounce around on this. Everyone else is nice and steady, and my car is just bouncing around like it's a goddamn pogo stick. All right, there we go. Now we've got some top speeds. So we'll be a little bit better off. We'll duck around the outside. We'll make a snap move to the outside there. 
lose it a little, lose it again. I think the first time was because I tried to hold it flat. And the second time was because I may have gotten tagged. Now, I did say I was going to tap the brakes there, so I did that, and it helped. So we're six. We've got four laps to go. Now we just get to watch the chaos happen in front of us. Outbreak them by breaking earlier than them. There we go. Survived that. Now we just got to figure out a way by these guys. There's not a lot of breaking points. Oop, that was, that was close. Because we were building up speed still, it was fine through there. So now we get to, I think we'd be able to make up some time into the uh, final chicane. Might have made up some time by slamming into the side of that guy, Gordon. One of the many, many racing Gordon family. Down the hill. And there we go. The nice dive bomb into the into the right-handed hairpin. Now it's this big bank curve. Should we just call it like Daytona or something? Maybe Homestead. It's kind of levels out flat like that. Probably Homestead's a better name for that. Not 1998, mind, but still. Because it was still like, what, it had like, what, six degrees of baking or something amazing like that at, uh, in 98. It's what I should have gone to, gone and looked at in, uh, NASCAR Thunder 2004 when I did that video. It was I should have looked at, um, Old Homestead. Flat Homestead. It would have been a much more interesting uh, championship finale if it was a flat track, but hey, that's just me. And now we've got a playoff that is... Uh, now we've got Phoenix as the playoff finale for NASCAR, which is... I don't, know, I don't particularly care for Phoenix, but they renovated it, so NASCAR rewarded them with the championship race as if it was like the NFL. Because the NFL, if you build a new stadium or do some big renovations and shit like that, they'll give you the, uh, they'll give you a Super Bowl. But at least, you know, like a football field is, like, I don't want to say football field is a football field is a football field. Because weather conditions and such can make a difference. Like if I look at, um, Like, if I, I look at, like, say, you compare the, um, like, if all of those domes in the north, but then all of a sudden you could have, like, a Super Bowl in Seattle, it could be cold and snowy, it could be, or, like, you know, in New York, when they had it at MetLife. Oh, right, there's a hairpin there. We'll just skirt through there. That was as intended. Where'd everyone go? Oh, there they are, I could saw some headlights. You could have snow, you could have weather. Yeah, both teams have to play in it, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, okay, there's a little variability in weather conditions that could favor one team over another. Whereas, say, um, a racetrack, there's a lot of variability there. Like, some some drivers and teams are better at those intermediate tracks. Like, someone like Kevin Harvick's going to love Phoenix being the final race of the season because he tends to drive well there. Still, it's better than doing it at Daytona or Talladega where you know anything could happen. Wouldn't be much of a championship so much as a lottery. All right. Not a bad day's work here. There are four bonus tracks. We'll pick up the win over Moretti. 
So sadly, none of those unlocked any new tracks. I assume there's like a cheat code or something that'll get us to unlock the other uh, the other six tracks. Which ones don't we have? And I don't know what they are. Just go quick through. So we've got four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. I believe two of them will be Walton Park variants. Because they've got the uh, Ulton Park Fosters, but we've also got the Ulton Park uh, Island and Ulton Park International as well. Which I wouldn't mind racing. Uh, but we'd have to unlock that. And I kind of wonder, because this is uh, Test Track Long, I do wonder if there's going to be like Test Track, you know, medium or short or what have you, because there are variants there as well. Actually, we can go back to that for just a second. We can walk through all the different ones on the test track. Um, yeah, yeah, just because we're going through, because uh, there's long. Okay, that was the one you're we just on. But you've got two medium variants. One which doesn't involve the um, which doesn't involve the bank core, and one that does. So the long just kind of takes both and kind of does it that way. And then you've got the short, which is sort of half of what we were just on. There's a banked oval. There's a runway and a skid pan. Oh, and the dusty road. Dusty road would be an interesting one. If you will. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that'll do it for uh, this bonus episode of Toka 2 Touring Cars. I've got to unlock... Uh, I don't know what's next week. I don't know if, uh, if there's a cheat code to unlock more bonus tracks. We'll be back with more bonus tracks. If not, uh, I guess i got to hurry up and find what's next. But until we see you again, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, you can check out more Tokatu Jewelry Cars in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos each time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.